Hi everybody. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to inspect your jets and how to clear them if they need to be cleared. Um, this is on a Honda GX160 commercial line. Um, I think this would probably apply to all the GX series, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, so what happened was one day I went to start this and it wouldn't start. And of course you gotta have three things for a gasoline engine to start, fuel compression, spark. I knew it wasn't my compression. And so I checked for a spark, I had spark. And so I knew it was something with my fuel. So I took the old fuel out, just siphoned it out, put new fuel in, pulled and pulled and pulled, still wouldn't start. So I knew I had to check my jets. And I hadn't done this before, but it's real easy to do. It'll save you a lot of money and time. Won't be t that way your engine won't be tied up in the shop. And uh, so uh, I think the reason this happened was because of the, the ethanol that's being used in the gasoline. And I'm going to put um, in the in the uh, description. I'm going to put a website you can check. It'll show you um, any state you li any any state in uh, I think at least lower 48. It'll show you uh, gas stations that are selling gasoline now without the ethanol and that's what I'm running now in all my uh, gasoline engines, uh, four stroke and two stroke. Because uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's really a pain when this happens and plus it messes with your O-rings and, and that can cause a lot of trouble too. So basically, all you have to do is, first thing you're gonna do is, you're going to turn your fuel off. Next, you're going to turn your choke over to the left or to the open position. Okay, that's going to allow us to get this part off a lot easier. Then the next thing you're going to do <coughs> is you're going to need a cup, okay, because you're going to have a little bit of fuel come out of the bowl here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt off of the bottom here. There's one on the side, one in the middle. You're going to take the one off in the middle. And just drain it out. It's not a lot of fuel. You'll just, you'll get a couple ounces out. It drains pretty fast. And then the whole the whole bowl. And just drop out okay so set that aside and I've got it'd be a good idea to have just you know I got a towel here nice clean surface keep everything organized just so you can keep track of stuff okay the next thing you want to do is there's two bolts or two nuts right here okay you're gonna need to take those off And then there's another bolt. Well, oh, let's I gotta do that. I gotta here, let's take this off first. You're gonna have a wing nut here. You're gonna have a wing nut on the top here for your air filter. Take that and the cover off. Then you're gonna have another wing nut. Then your whole filter will come off. Okay. Then this was the bolt I was trying to get at. You're gonna see a bolt. You're gonna see a bolt right here. You can just loosen that. Okay. I'm trying to try to videotape this on my own. So sorry I'm moving the camera around so much. And this is a studded bolt. And again, all these bolts, they're 10 millimeter right hand thread. Right there. If you're not sure which way to turn, just remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then <clears throat> this will just, this whole black, this whole plastic unit housing here, that'll just slide right off. Okay? 
set that aside. All right, then open your, open your, let's get in here. Okay, open your choke up. Okay, and you'll see, you will see right in the, in here, there's a little brass piece that'll be sticking up about an eighth of an inch. It's probably three sixteenths of an inch diameter. That's what you got to get out. Now there's two jets, okay? But this jet and the other jet both come out from, they come out right from the bottom here. So just get a flat-headed screwdriver that'll fit up inside here, okay? And there, it just went into the slot. And again, right-hand thread, then just turn. And that one will drop right out. Okay, so this is, this is your first, this is your first jet. We just took it out this way on this side with the slotted screwdriver. And uh, you can see there's a hole inside there. You gotta make sure that that hole is open. If it's not, then I have this wire here. This wire is actually, <clears throat> it's a 26 thousandths OD. It's from my muzzle loader and it works perfect. But you're gonna need some kind of a wire uh, somewhere in, in this size range. And then you can just put it in and clear that hole, okay? Just just one hole in that one, that's all you got, okay? So clear that out, set that aside. Then, this is the other jet. There's another, I don't know if I can... You'll see it when you look inside here. Hold your hand here and just push, I got a little slotted screwdriver here. Just take that and push down on it and it dropped right out. Now the first time I did it, this is what it looks like. The first time I did that, it didn't drop out. So what I did was I took a, a paper clip, a large paper clip, and I bent it open and then I put I bent a 90 on here and that allowed me to actually then go inside and push down right on the edge of that and that allowed it to, to pop out okay and you're gonna see here this jet it's brass and it's got a lot of holes in it and if these holes are plugged up it's not going to run right, so you want to inspect all these holes. Now you'll notice where I'm holding it right now, okay, there's six little holes, okay? So just start at the top here with your wire and put that wire in there and it'll, you're going to be cleaning holes also on the opposite side, okay? So you got another six holes over here. So we're actually going to be cleaning, when we clean this row, we're going to be cleaning actually 12 all together. Then you'll turn it a quarter turn. Then you're going to have five holes here. Okay? And again, as you clean these, you'll be cleaning the other five on the other side. Then once you complete those, we'll inspect them, make sure they're open and or clean them. Then you're going to also have, there's another hole right here. And again, you just run it all the way through and you clean both sides. They're both holes at the same time. And that's all there is to it. Really easy. And then, you know, you would just take this and, uh, you know, put it back up in with your other one behind it, fasten it in, and just put everything back in the same order you took it out. Uh, I think that covers it all, but it's super easy to do. Don't be afraid to try it. And, uh, I hope this helps somebody out there. So God bless you and have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.